let's remove that thing that's out spinning because I think that does matter. Hi, okay, I'm back. Hi guys, it's me, Danny <laughs> from okdanny.com. I am a manifesting coach. I'm also an energy healer, and that just means that I help shift and move the blocks that you have so that you can actually manifest the things that you want. I clear cords, I do all kinds of good shit. So, yes. Um, before I get started on this video, this video is for Alexandra um, with her question about survival mode. But before I get started, I want to remind you that I'm currently in pre-sales for the Ask, Believe, Receive course. You can go to bit.ly slash ABR mini course and cop that. If you cop it before the 15th, you get a free half an hour session with me. So yeah, and you can use that time for however you want. Um, energetics or coaching, you let me know. Okay, so that is said. Okay, so this video in, um, like last week, I think. <laughs> hi, Misha. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for hopping back. So last week, and whoever else is, I see there's four people, but only two people talking. So hi. Hi, Sheena. Okay, now I know who three of the four are. Okay, last week, uh, Alexandra posted a meme that, first of all, I did not like the energy of that meme because I am not into judgy marketing. <laughs> it's just not my style. I don't think it has a good flow. Anyway, the meme said something like, how are you going to manifest what you want when you're in survival mode? All your fear is getting in the way. Lack, 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 whatever. Okay. The sentiment is largely true. If you are focused on survival mode and focused on the lack, the appearance of lack, which is not a real thing, but the appearance of the lack, and if you're focused on your fears, then yeah, you're vibrating in like sludge mode. And what you want is like over in like high, fast, energy, happy, joyful, gratitude, appreciation mode. But you're down here like struggle bus, struggle bus, right? So struggle bus and this mode, there's, there's no matching frequencies. So the sentiment is right. The energy of the post was meh. But the point that I want to make to you now is that you can be in survival mode in your life and still be manifesting. Well, you're always manifesting, but what you can do is intentionally manifest what you want while you're still riding the struggle bus. Real talk. Because otherwise there would be no human beings who get off of the struggle bus and go to thriving and survive, thriving versus survival mode. Okay, there's so many stories that you've heard of people who go from struggle bus to winning mode. And because of that, you know that it's possible. Okay. The main thing I want you to remember is that everything that you see around you now, all of the things that you have currently manifested, everything in your current struggle bus situation, everything in your survival mode situation, your current circumstances, that is all a product of past you so this is a manifest your your present is a manifestation from weeks ago months ago you okay knowing that you can act in the now and still be future present what i mean by that is you're staying now you're you're paying the bills now you're negotiating with the debt collectors now you are having those hard conversations with your spouse now whatever the whatever the yuck looks like for you right now a lot of times it's money <laughs> related it's always finances when folks come to me about the struggle bus it's usually finance related let me not say always but so those things that you have to do the tactical practical things that you have to do now you must do them you must stay present pay those bills organize that money do what you got to do because life exists, it's real life, you know, this is real. Do that. However, your mind does not need to stay focused on it. You make your list of what needs to happen now to stay afloat or to handle this pressing issue. And then you get back to the focus, the future presence, because you have that knowledge that, okay, I need to keep my energy and intention on the things I'm trying to create because if I don't and I stay on this small mode, I'm going to keep creating small mode struggle bus shit. So it requires, it requires mindfulness. It requires a little bit of education because you have to know that you have to have that knowledge of, okay, staying in the future, 
to an extent is required so that you're not mired down here. And it takes presence here and fo future focus. Please let me know if that's not making sense. I hope it does. So mindfulness now, as well as a future focus. Someone called it future presence. I forget who I read or what I saw, but they called it future presence. And I really liked that because it kept it so open, like it's a future presence, despite like right now I am, <laughs> hey Shay, right now I'm like struggling. I'm, I'm finishing five courses in college and I'm working too and I gotta take care of my kids and school is rough and that's now. But while I'm writing these papers and studying for these tests and dealing with this stuff, I also have that picture in my mind of when I'm walking across the stage with my degree cap, flipping the thing on my cap, wearing my gown, feeling proud, have my degree holding it up, my family's proud of me, everyone's circling around me, cheering me on. Like you can still have that vision while you're writing your fucking 10th essay of the week. Do you feel me? Separate from that, I want to have you recognize that you already do this. You already separate the now circumstance from the future in so many ways. <laughs> the, the, I don't know who needs this one, but the example that's coming to my head right now <laughs> is your period. Like you get cramps and you're like, ah, this sucks. But no one's ever thinking like, ah, this sucks and this is how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. No, you take your Advil for now and then you recognize that in a week, you're going to be cramp-free, blood-free, whatever, pain-free, <laughs> right? So if we can apply that kind of future presence, current mindfulness, current actions for this current struggle bus situation, but that future presence for that, you know, period-free next week, why aren't we, like, extending that logic to money, love, whatever? And we do it with love. Okay, we, we're in the midst of the bad breakup. We're so sad. We miss our partner. This is the worst. Wah, wah, wah. I can't believe this happened to me. But then you know, intellectually, emotionally, physically, you know you're going to find another partner down the line. But you're sad now still, right? But you don't stay here only. You think like, okay, well, you know, my next man, he'll never cheat on me and blah, blah, blah. You know, you think about those things. So I want you to extend that same logic to whatever your current struggle bus situation is. Please let me know if that made sense. Hold on, I gotta come down on these comments. That's such a great example. Okay, good. I'm glad you I'm glad you feel it. Thank you, Shay. So yeah. Oh gosh, I'm gonna tag Alexandra in this so that she can hear this message. I hope that it resonates with you. I hope it resonates with everyone listening and everyone. I might just put this on the podcast because I feel like so many people get into this like like we're so focused on the right now. I do it too. Let me just hold on. Let me back up this truck and let you know that I do it too. Like I fall into the nowness and then I have to like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Hold on. And then I have to get back into knowing future presence. Because if you get stuck on on this illusion of, of this, you're it's really kind of getting stuck in the past. So if you want to play a game, you can play a game that, okay, everything that I see now is in the past and I'm really like a time traveler and I'm just currently experiencing the past because that's what all of this stuff that I currently manifested represents, the past me. So whatever games you have to play in your head, do it. But just the point is none of your current circumstances equate to who you are and where you're going. So if you keep a good chunk of your mind and energy and intention on where you're going, then you'll recognize sooner that this shit doesn't matter. Your kids matter, your house matters, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It all matters, but it's not a representation of you. Past you manifested this. And if you're new to manifesting work, if you're new to conscious manifesting work, I should say, if you're new to staying in alignment and, and mindset work and doing all this magical goodness that we do, if you're new to it, that should mean, that should make you extra happy because it was a unconscious, uneducated version of you that manifested what you got right now. You feel me? I hope you feel me. Okay, so said all of that with love. I hope it resonates. Thank you for being in this fantastic group. And thank you guys for participating more in the group. Please post, make your own post, ask questions, do what you gotta do. I love it. I love seeing the camaraderie and people cheering people on. It just brings tears to my eyes. All right, so that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. 
you tomorrow.